All right, good morning, everybody. I am here I'm a couple minutes late, not too bad. I um, let's see, I'm trying to get the computer set up. And right before, well, not right before, like seven minutes ago, let's say, I was like, you know what, I'm kind of hungry and I don't want my stomach to growl while um, I'm talking to you guys. So I decided to eat a, um, a peanut butter, like bis granola biscuit thingy. I'm trying to get some better light here, let's see. Um, and so <laughs> pretty sure eating peanut butter right before I came on camera to talk to you guys not the smartest move, but um, we'll get through it. All right, so happy Friday, everybody. Um, who's excited for it to be Friday? Me. Um, good morning, Gail. I'm so happy you're here. Um, today, we're going to talk about in colors. So if you're new to Stampin' Up, um, if you're not new but want a little refresher, good morning, Lee. Um, every year, Stampin' Up brings in five new in colors and five go out. So they're around for two years. Um, Stampin' Up likes to be on trend or target, which is awesome. So we're um, they bring in some colors that are on point for... Good morning, Diana. Um, so they bring in colors that are on trend, which is awesome. And then we always have our classics, and then every once in a while, everything gets all um, switched up, and we have uh, color overhauls or whatever. But um, this year, we're just concerned about five new that are coming in. They're bright, they're fun, they're cheery, they make me happy. Um, so hopefully they do that for you guys, too. I am still trying to figure out their names, not figure out, I, but remember their names, I guess. Um, so bear with me on that one. There's a couple things I wanted to talk to you guys beforehand. Um, Paper Pumpkin, you can still subscribe to it for, you have until May 10th. Paper Pumpkin is gonna be showcasing the new in colors. You're gonna get a basic gray classic stamp pad, but then the cards, oh, actually I don't know about the cards. I think maybe the cards, I have seen the cards, but the envelopes, um, the bling is all gonna be the new in colors. So that's gonna be super fun to see what's coming in that box. Um, also, Stampin' Up! is putting golden vouchers. <clears throat> so, I feel like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, right? Um, golden vouchers and that, if you get a golden voucher in your paper pumpkin box, you um, get a $25 gift certificate or $34 in Canada. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? We just found out yesterday, oh, not happening. <laughs> Um, we just found out yesterday that um, there's going to be a perk for joining Stampin' Up! in May. You're going to get some in-color stuff. I think this is really cool. Who's excited for that? Me. You guys see when I raise my hand? Me. Um, you're going to get some cardstock. You're going to get uh, designer series paper. You're gonna get a pack of that, which is, um, this is the new designs for the in, for the um, color family paper that Stampin' Up! does. So look at that. This reminds me of snow a little bit, kinda. It's dots, but it's it could totally be used as snow background. So there's that. And you're gonna get the five um, ink pads and you're gonna get grid paper, so. That's pretty cool, but that's in May. So starting May 3rd, which May 3rd, the new catalog starts. Who's excited for that? Me. Um, 
and then we'll get to show you all the inside right now all i can show you is this pretty front of the new catalog okay so we talked paper pumpkin oh i did want to mention too that the um the neutral blends are back in stock so um this all together suite is back in stock um but if you wanted any of the blends they've been not orderable for a while but they're back in stock okay off to the side now let's we're going to be using um a stamp set from the new catalog and i don't need that I feel like I bring a lot of stuff over here and then I'm like, oop, don't, nope, don't need that, don't need that. Um, and I decided to do a collection of cards and you'll notice that there's one card missing, one color missing, the Tahitian Tide is missing because that's what we're gonna be creating today. But let me see, if you guys can see that, all those. So I made them all the same. There's um, new ribbon, the in color. It's very sparkly. It's very pretty. There's um, matte dots, and then the um, the thank you is from Cup of Tea, which is new on the. Um, you'll be able to get it May third, and then I also used for the inside. I brought out um, color and contour, and did. You're absolutely amazing. So like I said, they're all the same, but um, did I bring my, oops. So when I went to go do the Tahitian Tide one, I did a handful of them a day or so ago. Um, and then this morning I was finishing up and I stamped um, and I got all kind of wonky here. So it's like, you know what? We're just gonna redo this guy. And that way I can show you how I made them. So, uh, let's see. Okay, Tahitian Tide. I took one of the um, six by six and I cut it down to, this is two inches by five and a quarter, All right? Um, and then I have my card base because I have a bunch of these already cut out. So this is what I used. And I'm going to be using the basic border dies. So, oops, there. You can see those. I'm not sure why I haven't had these before, but I just got these in my last order. Oh my gosh. They've been in the annual catalog for a year, I think. I'm not sure. But, um, so this is how I made the, the contour. I don't, I don't know. You guys give me a name for this. I'm not sure. Um, but that's how I made that. So we're going to get our, um, die cutting machine and let's do that first. I'm also dealing with stuff not being where it's supposed to be because I'm starting to pack. Um, and so there are just boxes sitting in the room, <laughs> which woo, drives me a little crazy, but you know. Okay, so I took, oh, I should have saved the template. Okay, I did one and then I just um, copied all the rest of them, but we'll just go like this. All right, took the extra piece and we're gonna turn it like this. Okay. Stay. All right. So we're going to roll this through, and that's going to give us the contour. And then I'm going to give you guys a couple of hints on how to attach because I did it a couple of ways. And if I do it a couple of ways, it means the first time I don't really like it. So, I'm going to bring in um, some grid paper like this. 
they're not new, Diana. They've been around for a while. Um, they might be new in like the annual catalog that's going away, but that they might be a year old. Um, but I know we talk about clock, uh, clouds uh, a lot, and there's a cloud um, like edger in there, which why we why I haven't used it before or gotten it before I don't know. Okay, so to attach these guys for the front of the car. The first time I did it, I went down this way with my adhesive, like this, and then trying to line it up, I, I had to get rid of some adhesive. So I'm going to do the um, the serp or the the curve. That's what I'm looking for. But I want to make sure that I'm doing it four inches. Right, because that's your that's our base, our first layer. And doing it kind of straight-ish. Right. There we go. Okay. And this I'm just gonna trim off because I didn't get it lined up perfectly. We'll just go like that. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna stamp. So I'm gonna take the Tahitian Tide, and I believe I have everything on blocks already. And I'm gonna do the teacup first. And I want my foam mat. And let's Cross our fingers. There we go. So there's our teacup. We're gonna keep that out because I'm gonna add some greenery and I used um, garden green for the greenery. I'm gonna go slow. I'm not gonna rock, which is what I think I did the first time I tried to make this color. And then in the stamp set, there's these, um, you can see them here. They're little flowers. They don't, they don't match up perfectly. Like with, they're just kind of like floating around, which is fine. So I'm going to ink those up and I did all of these in the, um, the color. So everything is the same color. Let's see. Go like that. There's that. Oh, and I need the thank you still. Thank you. We always need thank you cards, right? I also thought this would be a super cute um, gift for somebody. So I actually pulled out, I built them somewhere. I pulled out, I have some um, acetone card boxes and so I thought it'd be really cute to do a belly band on here. I haven't done it yet, but, um, uh, and do envelopes and maybe do a flower uh, on the envelope and then maybe do a circle, right? We love our circle, um, circle dies with a teacup on there. Oh, how cute. Okay. Uh, so that's my thought process anyway, but we also have ribbon, which I showed you guys yesterday, or last, not yesterday, I wasn't here yesterday, um, last Friday, but I'm just going to tie a bow, I'm going to wrap it, and tie a bow, we'll see if I can do it fairly easy on camera. So I think the bow, I did all the other ones the other way, but we'll go with this. Yeah, Gail, it's living out of boxes. I'm really kind of packing like, okay, we're packing our cold weather stuff. Don't need that. Okay. Oops. Don't like that. Um, and then in my craft room, 
There's a lot of things I haven't touched. Just pack the whole the projects, right? I have projects. I have this picture frame um, that has a spot for four pictures. And a long time ago, Stampin' Up! had a tree with different seasons, like summer, spring, summer, spring, fall, and winter. Um, and I, online, obviously, I saw somebody who had done a picture frame like that, right? And so I, I've always wanted to do it. And the tree went away a while ago. I'm pretty sure I kept it. I'm not 100% sure about that. But um, I can't get rid of the picture frame. <laughs> it's like, I still want to do it. Even if I don't have the tree set anymore, I'm going to do it with something else or, or something. But it's a project that was supposed to happen while I was here and it never happened. But I'm taking it back and it's going to happen at some point. So... It's a big picture frame, like, oh, well, it's two feet long because I, I have a Cricut mat sitting inside it um, for moving. <laughs> so it's it's the long Cricut mat that I have, and that's two feet long, so. Okay, so there's my bow. I put, did you guys notice, I put a little glue dot underneath there to hold that guy down while I was talking. And normally I do this like on a on my silicone mat. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this guy on the card cover before I get it stuck on anything else, and then we're going to add bling. So we're gonna go like that. Um, this set is so cute, and the paper that goes with the set. Oh, let me show you the paper. So the paper that goes with the set is super bright and fun. So there's all of this. Can you guys see that? And then the back side is a little bit more subtle, but like every color in the rainbow you could use with the set. It's really, really pretty. Okay, but we have in color bling and they're matte dots. And so we're gonna use, and they're a little um, ombre, I guess is the word. So we're gonna go like this. And I just pick up, I think I've done three on each one. Just kind of randomly like this. Oops, like that. So this is our card for today. Oops, can you guys see that? There you go. <laughs> Let me stick it all the way up here. Nope, it needs to be down here. Um, so hopefully everybody's gonna have a great Friday. I was gonna show you the, um, the stamp set. So this right here, um, all the cute little greetings that would fit in this little tea bag. Uh, I guess that's a tea bag or the little tag, the tea tag. Um, yeah, you guys let me know. Thanks, Gail. Good, good idea. Let me know um, which is your favorite of the new ink colors. So we have... Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Starry, Starry Sky, and Orchard Oasis. I wasn't sure um, how, was I gonna, how I was going to feel about all these guys, but um, you guys know I love blue, so the more blues that Stampin' Up! has, the happier I am. Not really, but you know, um, just makes me happy. So there is Tahitian Tide, here's Orchard Oasis, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, and this Starry Sky. So there you go. Let me know if you guys have any comments or uh, questions, I guess is what I really wanted to say. 
and hopefully everybody's going to be able to do some paper crafting today tomorrow let's face it every day if we could paper craft would be a happy day right um so i'm still going to be here on fridays for a couple of fridays but i'll let you guys know um at some point the whole room is going to have to be packed up and then that's going to be it so um everybody have a great friday and i will talk to you soon thanks for being here bye